Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at a new pair of Oakleys that I recently picked up. Um, this was completely an impulse buy. I wasn't going in there to look for this or anything like that. Um, I was kind of looking around at some other stuff. I saw a shirt that I ended up picking up and I saw this model sitting on the shelf and I noticed that it matched the shirt perfectly. So again, impulse buy, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It's a frame that I don't have, so it's obviously gonna be a new frame for me, but it's a pretty interesting frame um, because it has a lot of history behind it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It comes in a regular box here. And this one is the Oakley Hydra. So check out the name of that frame. It's Trans Arctic Surf. That's the color of that frame. And then it's got the Prism Sapphire lenses. Prism Sapphire is actually a one of my favorite lenses. So um, I obviously couldn't pass it up. So I just have to go ahead and pick it up. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So inside you have a hard case, which I do like, especially because of um, the style of these uh, glasses. Sometimes it makes sense to have these hard, uh, hard cases because, um, you know, if it's a, a softer frame or if it's a shield lens, like one complete lens or something like that, then it's obviously good to have these to protect it. So let's go ahead and open it up. And inside you have the glasses in the microfiber bag. And then you have a spare set of nose pieces. Um, as always, I do recommend that you check out the uh, spare pieces because sometimes they make these either uh, thicker or thinner. So if you're having an issue with the frame sitting correctly on your face, sometimes switching out the nose pieces makes a big difference. So here is the frame itself, or the glasses itself, I should say. And here they are. So let's go ahead and take the plastic off of the stems here. So taking a look at them right off the bat, you could see that these have a really awesome kind of retro look to them. And that is because um, they have, um, obviously they've been in inspired by a kind of like surfing and surfing sports, but it um, it's very reminiscent of the original razor blades uh, from way back in the day of Oakley. So um, that's what they kind of went with. Um, a lot of styles you'll see coming out in the next couple of years from Oakley, as, as I hear, they're trying to kind of marry the um, new styles with older styles, so taking inspiration from some of the older styles. And I think uh, that's really cool because I do like some of Oakley's older styles. I know a lot of collectors do as well. So the fact that they're thinking about that, um, it makes me happy to see what they're gonna come out with in the future. So this is actually one of those frames. Again, this was inspired by the original razor blades. So um, obviously they are semi rimless because you only have the frame at the top. So nothing on the bottom here. Um, it is uh, a shield lens, as I mentioned. So it's one piece, uh, one complete lens, which is good because it gives you good view, um, good peripheral view as well. You don't have anything kind of obstructing your view or anything like that. So again, this particular frame is called Trans, a Trans Arctic Surf. So it's got a very kind of teal color to it, as you guys can see there. It is um, translucent, so you're able to see through the frame itself, which is really, really nice. Now, uh, taking a couple of other cues, you have the um, B1B logo on the templates here. So again, this is kind of harking back to the razor blades, uh, original um, logo from Oakley. So that is really cool. Um, it's on the temples there. And then the, um, the frame itself, has uh, what they call the trigger stem design. So um, kind of goes down like this. Again, very, very reminiscent of Oakley's um, glory days in the 80s and stuff like that. So that is really cool. I just love the stylings of this frame. Uh, again, it gives you that kind of surfer vibe to it, um, which is really cool. Now, there's one more thing regarding the frame, and that's the frame itself, that was pretty interesting to me. And I'm actually reading this right off of the Oakley website. The, um, the frame is, uh, it's not your typical O matter or plastic frames that you would normally find on Oakley sunglasses. This is called biomatter. And that is because it is plant-based. So that means, um, again, reading right off of the site, it says biomatter is made from biomaterials having at least 56% bio-based carbon content, replaced, uh, representing a ratio of castor oil to fo uh, fossil sources. So um, basically that means it's plant-based. So that is really, really cool. So more than 50% of the frame itself is um, bio-based carbon content. 
Uh, again, it kind of goes with the stylings of surfing and stuff like that. But that's just a little bit different thing that, that you could say like, hey, you know, my glasses are 50% bio or more than 50% um, biomatter. So that is really, really cool. I think they made a really awesome choice in pairing this frame color with the um, prism sapphire lenses because it, um, it's a seamless color design. I, I know um, when you're seeing it on the, these lights, you can't really appreciate it. So I'll, um, at the end of the video, I'll turn it around and I'll put these on so you guys can see it a little bit better. But I thought this was a really, really cool sporty frame. Again, you do have the rubber unobtainium on the nose here. So it's gonna bond to your skin and keep, help it keep in place. Nothing on the ears here, but again, um, this is a, a, a pair of frames that I would I would say it's good for, for relaxing, hanging out, going to the beach, driving, riding a bike, and things like that. Just, just kind of hanging out, very chill vibes with this frame here. So let me go ahead and turn the camera on. I'll put those on so you guys can see what they look like on me. All right, guys, let me go ahead and put these on. Again, this model is called the Hydra. So very, very comfortable. Um, again, thanks to that biomatter frame, which is very, very lightweight. Um, I love the shield lens. I have visibility all over the place. Uh, I don't have to worry about the frame coming in in, uh, in focus or anything like that. So if I'm walking around, maybe riding a bike, uh, hanging out at the beach, this is the perfect sunglasses for that. Really nice wrap to it. So um, you're not gonna get any light coming in from the sides. It's not that tall as far as the frame goes. Uh, so, you know, for me, they're perfect. I'm not getting anything bouncing off my cheeks and coming in or anything like that but just uh, keep in mind you do not have a frame underneath here so that's good also because you will get constant airflow through there which helps it from not fogging up and stuff like that so again um, the biomatter frame really really awesome I love the uh, the trigger stems here how they kind of come up and then they go down and then right they sit right on top of your ears there very very comfortable as always when I take them off I would just kind of throw them on top of my head uh, I don't have to worry about them getting stretched that or anything like that they're very very comfortable and then once i'm done just bring them back down so uh this particular color again on the frame is called the trans arctic surf so again it's this, this kind of teal look to it it is translucent um you can see right through it really awesome kind of 80s vibe to it that's that's pretty much what i'm getting from here kind of surfer being at the beach vibe which oakley is is known for as well and then obviously your prism sapphire lenses which is the kind of the kind of bluish um hue you get some purple in there as well so perfect perfect uh, pairing of the frame and the um, lenses with this particular one it is available in in a couple of other colors as well so if you guys are interested i would recommend that you either check out oakley's site um, or uh, go to the shop or go to the stores and uh, try them out you know um, again it's called the oakley hydra maybe you know you, you see them but you really didn't think that they would look good on you and then you try them on and you notice that they do. Again, this was an impulse buy for me. I was kind of looking for a pair of glasses to match a shirt that I had gotten and these uh, these just happened to match it perfectly and um, they fit really awesome and it's not something common that I have. You know, um, you know, it, it doesn't look like something else that I, that I normally would get. So, um, you know, that's why I decided to go ahead and pick it up and add it to the collection. So, again, this is the Oakley Hydra and the Trans Arctic surf frame with the prism sapphire lenses again this particular frame being the biomatter frame which is 56 percent bio-based carbon content which makes it a little bit different than anything else that you might have in your collection so i would recommend that you check them out at least and maybe pick one up for yourself so there it is let me know if you guys have any questions thanks